Now, working with hand tools doesn't have to be an overcomplicated thing. When you think about it, it comes down to one skill, and that's working to a line. Now, I know that's a gross oversimplification, but when you think about it really closely, flattening a board into a consistent plane, or shaping a curve, or refining a curve, or sculpting a curve, or cutting a tenon, or cutting a dovetail, all involves working to a specific line, whether that's in your mind or in pencil. Now this is really great news because it makes things so simple. And you know that by focusing on planing to a line and sawing to a line and mastering those skills will allow you to tackle really anything, any joint or any project that you can dream up. It was when I started developing the hand tool school that I realized just how few skills it really all boils down to and how focus on those skills could make the entire world of hand tool woodworking so much more approachable. So when Sean Graham approached me about building a three-day class at the Worth the Effort Woodworking School down in Texas, I jumped at the opportunity. What I've always wanted to do was to build a hand tool boot camp that over the course of three days will take students through those fundamental woodworking skills that will allow you to tackle anything that you can throw at yourself in your own shop. There's no tricks, no gimmicks, no time-saving tips. Gotta be honest, it's gonna take practice and hard work, but in the end, mastery of these basic skills will make you a better woodworker. So yes, this whole video is really just a clever advertisement to help fill a class that I'm teaching. If you're interested, please sign up. At least at the time of this recording, there are still some spaces available for the June 13th through the 15th class down near Austin, Texas. But even if you have no intention of taking this class, I hope that what follows will help you to take a closer look at some of these basic fundamental skills and how focusing on them can create a much bigger overall improvement to your woodworking ability. Being able to prepare your stock for joinery is so important. Again, this is just being able to work to a line. But in this case, the line is really a consistent plane. In day one of this class, we will build a couple of bench hooks. Very simple bench appliances to be sure, and you may already have one. But starting with a rough board and planing it to be surfaced and square on six faces, then gluing up a panel and reflattening it will teach you volumes about plane craft. It helps that you walk away with probably the most valuable bench aid ever invented. Next, we'll create a little sawing hook based on an old Sloyd woodworking exercise that will teach you to work to that line, but we will ditch the planes and go even more fundamental and use only our chisels and a couple of saw cuts. While some may claim this is doing it the unnecessarily hard way, I say what doesn't kill us makes us better woodworkers. Good chisel skills will trump any specialty tool and handle any situation you can throw at them. Day two, focus on sawing. This is my personal favorite. I honestly think good sawing skills will do more for your woodworking than anything else. With mastery of a couple types of cuts, you'll be amazed at how anything becomes possible. We will build the saw bench and in the process, get to experience three distinct types of saw cuts to break down our rough lumber, refine it to size, then join it together. Now there are a bunch of different saw bench designs out there, and this one is hardly innovative, and frankly, it isn't even the most durable. The point is that in building this bench, you will gain a better understanding of the types of cuts you may encounter and further strengthen your ability to saw right to a line. Again, the core skill that you will use every time you go into your shop. The reward for this is a great saw bench that will get used every day. Now on day three, we're gonna build what I like to call the technique box. This is gonna further expand upon the skills we've been focusing on. You're gonna further build your planing and sawing skills. As we take rough saw material, we plane it flat, and we size it exactly with our saws to meet the project specifications. We'll strengthen our sawing and our chiseling skills as we add miters at all four corners. The miter is what I think a very overlooked joint, but can be really one of the most difficult to execute, especially by hand. We'll strengthen things even further with a saw by strengthening the miter joint and adding splines. We will deepen our chisel skills by creating joinery to house the floating top and the floating bottom and installing hinges so that our top can move. 
In the end, we're rolling all of these fundamental skills into one project that will apply it and really cement everything we've talked about in the previous two days. Of course, along the way, we'll talk about sharpening your tools and some great starting points for your own sharpening setup. We'll take a break and talk some wood science and how to recognize what properties to look for that will make your hand tool experience even better. It's going to be a busy three days. It's going to be exhausting. But by the end of it, I think you're going to have the skills or the knowledge how to improve those skills to unplug and tackle anything. And it will eliminate your fear that a project is too difficult or a joint is too advanced. It all comes down to cutting to a line. Remember that. So I hope you'll be able to join me this June 13th through the 15th at the Worth the Effort Woodworking School in San Marcos, Texas. If you're interested in registering, follow the links in this post. And as an added bonus, any of the students who attend the class will receive a 50% off coupon for semester one of my hand tool school. The curriculum there is everything I'm talking about in this class 20 times over with hours and hours of video content, and many, many more projects. Or if you have questions about this idea, send me an email, drop a comment on this post, or visit my blog at therenaissancewoodworker.com. So more than anything, I wanna thank you for allowing me to interrupt the normal video feed with this, well, infomercial. I hope you can see I am so excited about being able to teach this class and being able to simplify all the hullabaloo that comes with hand tool woodworking and get people working wood. Thanks for your time, guys. We'll see you next time.